Okay, just in case we need it, let's do one more example of subtracting with unlike denominators using our fraction tiles. Okay, so the problem that we're going to do is two-thirds minus one-fourth. So I have two-thirds of something, I'm going to take one-fourth of it away. So with my fraction tiles, I'm going to use my um, one whole strip, and I'm going to make two-thirds. And I'm going to be subtracting one fourth. So I'm going to get my one fourth. I'm going to put it underneath because remember when we're subtracting, we're seeing what the difference is. How do we compare these two? Um, how much more do I need to get to here or how much less is this one? So I'm going to be figuring out the difference of this space here when I subtract. All right, so I need to find um, fractions with the same denominator, fraction tiles that are the same color to fill in this space um, between the one-fourth and the two-thirds. So I like to start with my largest denominator first. Uh, one-half. No, one-half is too large. We cannot do one-half. Uh, one-third is not going to work too small. Let's try fourths. Okay. No, fourths is not going to work here. Ooh, that looks promising, but I already know. Oh my goodness, it's so close, but it is not. It is not equal. Okay, so we can't use this. Let's try six. One six, two six, three six is not equal. Eight. I have kids who say, "Why do we skip sevenths?" Well. Sevenths isn't one we use a lot because it doesn't have a lot of equivalent um, or common multiples or common factors of other numbers. And eights and sixths and thirds and fourths do. Okay, eights, too large for four eights, too small with three eights. Let's try our tenths. You guys think, do you think tenths is going to work? Oh, no, very small small space there, but it is not equal. Tenths doesn't work. I saved the best for last, guys. Let's try twelfths. Okay. Yeah, another twelve. And our last twelfth. Look at that. There we go. Twelfths is our common denominator. All right, so it takes one, two, three, four, five twelfths to fill in the difference between two-thirds and one-fourth. So we have five-twelfths here. So two-thirds minus one-fourth, the difference is five-twelfths. All right, so hopefully that one extra example helped you out. Good luck on your work today.